So, welcome back to today's episode. In this one, we will be exploring this little critter you see in front of you. And all in all, it's probably going to be a shorter episode. Lighter on facts, maybe even than the previous one. But I'm sticking to my commitment. I figured this out quickly, and I fell behind today. Hopefully, you still enjoy it. Well, let's get on with the video. So today, we're going to be talking about harvestmen or Daddy Long Legs. Harvest men are these interesting little creatures, otherwise known as Daddy Long Legs. Some people will call them Daddy Long Legs spiders, but they're not actually spiders. Though they are in the arachnid family, they are much more closely related to mites. There are some species referred to as Daddy Long Legs that are truly spiders, but those are also referred to as cellar spiders. They have a more cylindrical body, bob around frequently, and can be found in basements. But what you're looking at before you is an example of an opilions. Excuse me for probably butchering the hell out of that. But they're neat little guys. You can pick them up and watch them walk around. And they have different interesting behaviors, especially when it comes to ways of trying to avoid predation. As we take a closer look at this guy, you can really see what makes them not spiders. Rather, rather than having a body of several distinct segments, it's actually fused together. And even the mandibles and mouth parts are different, and you can see on his eyes, he has just that pair rather than the abundance of eyes comparably that spiders have. And here you can get a better view of that body. And the proportions of their body to their body are quite striking too. It comes from, well, how they got the name Daddy Longlegs. Here you're observing a defense behavior known as bobbing. They use this to try to deflect predators from the central location of their bodies. These guys also have a different color on them. Oh, that guy froze. That's another behavior they use to try to deter predators as well. But in this species you see here, they have those different markings along their body. That can serve to also make it more difficult for predators. And this guy here has a missing leg, yet another adaptation they use for defense against predators. They'll be able to drop a leg and make an escape with what they've got left. And here, you can see this guy. You'll see him use those two arms to kind of sense and feel and understand about the environment around him. Right now he's just frozen in that defense posture, but there you go. You'll see that. Well, that's essentially it for today. I'll leave you with some footage of these curious little critters running around so you can observe them for yourself and see what you think. Well, I'm going to head off and get to work on the next episode and hopefully deliver something a bit better. I'm hoping not to make a routine of always saying that. I'd like to take this opportunity to say how much fun I've had these past days doing this. I've always wanted to take this on, and I'm glad that I have. It gives me another excuse to go out and do something that I already love doing, and being pushed to do it's good. And I'm enjoying it. So, I appreciate anybody that's watching, and I, well, not many yet, but it does me good to think that someday somebody may be able to watch this and get some enjoyment out of it like I did. Well, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.